Hey girls, this tutorial is to show you how to create a rolling dice. I know this is supposed to be your first um, task for the week and I noticed that a number of you had issues with it so I've decided to recreate it and hopefully this will be of help to you. Alright, just to make it simple, I have on the left hand side of the screen you could see on the design screen we have an image, we have an AdMob interstitial, I hope that's the way it's pronounced, then we have the button and we have the sound. So those are the things that you have in the design view. Then in the code view, these are the things that you have. So I'm going to show you quickly how it works. So this is just to show you the final version of the app. One thing you need to note is that you'll not be able to see the actual banner. You can only see the actual banner. That's the add mob banner. And um, if you have the full version or if you've published your application, but um, it's, it's also good for you to understand the process anyway. Um, but so let me just click on um, roll. So when you click on roll, basically it gives you a sound and at the same time, the dice rolls. You know, and remember we use the random generation. So that means any number could appear. All right, so just click on the roll. That's the sound. And now it's um, five. And I think the way we have it set is that when it gets to one or six, you have to specify a particular number that when it gets to that number, then the add banner comes up. But that's what we cannot see because we're not using the um, um, the, the full version or something like that. All right, so I'm going to go. Let me try and see. That's it. So, so normally if we get to six, you're going to see the advertisements. But unfortunately, we can see it now. But at least you're going to learn how to do this. Okay. All right. Now back to it. Let's see how we can get this working from a brand new plate. Okay. So like I said, on the design screen, we have image. So let's bring in an image. So we'll go to the add component section. You type in image. All right. And that brings the image. You click and drag onto the screen. So that's image there. So what else do we have? We have add mob interstitial. All right. Okay. How do you spell that now? I just say add add mob is that the way it's spelled now add well, yeah that's it there add mob interstitial so you bring that and you put it here you know that's it there okay so that's an invisible component but in the meantime we need to also add the banner all right so we're adding two things as a matter of fact so add the banner the banner comes here banner comes here so it's the banner that's visible all right um but we also have um um the add mob right okay so what next let me double check what we have on the screen we also have a button and a sound right so we come in here we look for sound s o u n d but sound is an invisible component remember invisible component you don't see them you don't see you don't see them on the screen you just basically have them on the visible component section so i click on it and i'll drag and put it here right do i have that there yeah that's it there okay so we need a button as well so come in here i type my button that's it so I drag the button and i put it underneath so now it's above so you know the way it works you know so obviously this is screen one and we have the button on top but i want to move it below so i'm just going to drag it and put it after the image that's it there i'll just drag and let go you can see that now it's now after the image all right yeah, that's it. I'm going to, I'm going to push this add more banner upwards. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to add a bit of space between the ad, the banner ad and the picture. So I'll click on the picture. I'll come to the inspector panel, right? I'll be looking for what we call the margin, margin top. So the top. So at the moment it's zero. So I want it to be, let me just say 20 and let's see how it is. It's small. That's still small. So maybe we should try 50. So you just play around with it until you're comfortable where it is, how it looks. But to be honest with you, you want to also double check, you want to preview because at times what you see here, when you preview it, it's not exactly what you get. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, you see that? It's just still there. Nothing much has happened. So um, obviously the reason why we have that is because this picture here, there's nothing in it. 
there's nothing in it so that's why it's like that so maybe i should wait until we add something into it before we can actually add space to it okay so let me quickly grab some pictures i actually have some pictures on my folder i'm gonna go browse uh, choose a um uh, i'll go i'll go here to choose a file from my computer yeah these are the pictures i have now i'm gonna click on that uh one two three four five yeah up to six yeah put i bring them in so these are the pictures i've added into it so what i want to do i probably want to add uh, maybe six i want the first dial to be six or one whichever one so i'll select it and i'll come to this section of it under the picture source i'll click on it and you see all the stuff that i've added you can see them here so i could choose any one i'll just go with one okay one 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 is the beginning of the number okay so that's it so we have a bit of space there now so let's preview and see if there's going to be any change yeah that's it so you see the space that we added between the the dice and the banner is now obvious okay so now this is not good this is not good we need to add a bit of space to the button section so let's go back again and do that so all right so what i'm going to do i'll click on this image again and i'll scroll down we have added 50 to the top maybe we should add another 50 so that it will look even another 50 to the bottom that's it super we're getting there gradually slowly but surely but let's take a look at it again i like looking at my stock whenever i make any change that's it i think this is uh, it's okay it's okay what i need to change here now is probably the button the button does not look great i'm gonna i'm gonna expand it a little bit i'll probably change the color to red or pink or something i don't like red i don't like blue okay let's go back again so i'm gonna select my button okay click on the button then here we go and these are the contents of the button so you can see that i like changing the names of 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 all those things that that, that i bring to the screen i don't like the default name so i'm going to change this button name here it's called button one i'm going to change it to btn i like starting my buttons with btn i'm going to say b t n underscore button would i call it button? no i'll call it roll i'll call it roll because it's going to be rolling when you click on it a rose so so this our button now is called btn underscore roll all right so i want to change the content of the button to roll i'm sure you all know this you have done a lot of assignments already so you should know what i'm doing there so um, here you go so that's it now roll but i think i like to increase the size it's too small let's go how do i do that i'll click on it again i'll come in here i will go hmm hmm let's see um it says height maybe i should increase the height just a little bit i'll come in here i'll choose um mm, let's say absolute i want it to be specific absolute height so i want it to be like let's say should i say 70 is that okay yeah that's not bad 70 okay then the width i want the width i'm gonna so absolute so that means absolute size basically means the exact number that i put in okay relative it's it works with percentage but absolute is exact number. So let's see what exact number should I put now. Mm, let's try 100. Not so bad. I let it be. I can always change it. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Is it function that we're looking for now? But I don't. I really don't like this blue. Let's see if I can change it. I'll change it to red. Okay. <laughs> it looks so red. Let's see if I can just change it a little, little bit. Okay. I don't I really I really don't care. Let's move on. Let's just double check again. Yeah, super. We're getting there. Okay, so so that's it. I think we are done with the design, or maybe we should just change the background. So to change the background of the screen, all I need to do is to click on the screen. Right. And you see the screen here? Screen one. That's how you know what you've clicked. It tells you the name here. Alright, so background. I'll come in here. Background color. I'll click on it. And I will say, what color do we want to give it? What color? Let me try different colors. Which one do we, should we use? Yellow? Yeah, let's do yellowish. But let's give it a go. Maybe a sweet yellow. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's too yellowish. Yeah, I think this is a lot better. Okay. Okay, so let's give it a go. Hmm. Mm, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, super. Okay. 
I think now we are done with all the designs. Let me double check. Are we missing anything? We have the sound, we have the button, we have the add more. We actually, actually added add banner. The the banner I did not add it. I did not add that. So you know banner. I think it's called add banner or something. Add banner. Right. So one, two, three, four, five. These are five components that we have. Five items. I beg your pardon. That we have done. Now we are happy with the way it looks. Now let's do the magic. Ooh, so let's go to blocks.